Wonderful. Let's read this. More and more companies, government agencies, educational institutes, institutions and philanthropic organizations are today in the grip of a new phenomenon, metric fixation. The key components of metric fixation are the belief that it is possible and desirable to replace professional judgment acquired through personal experience and talent with numerical indicators of comparative performance based upon standardized data metrics and that the best way to motivate people within these organizations is by attaching rewards and penalties to their measured performance and so so many instances have been have had issues with this the, the worst instance for this for me was this uh, wonderful uh, supermarket chain called uh, uh, more and I, I went there and i picked up something and i had to pay and this is the, the cashier out there on the checkout counter and she can't really bill till i say whether i like the service and she's right there staring at it of course i like the service because i want to get my billing done she doesn't care about it i don't care about it but you have to press that button everybody wants metrics all over the time all the place and somebody has said a rating system works and then we have gone to town with this and the, the, i'm not i'm not so sure that uh, we've drawn the line at the right place let's go back to the passage the rewards can be monetary in the form of pay for performance say or reputational in the form of college rankings hospital ratings college rankings if there ever was a scam that is there hospital ratings surgical report cards and so on but the most dramatic negative effect of metric fixation is its propensity to incentivize gaming of course of course that is encouraging professionals to maximize the metrics in ways that are at odds with the larger purpose of the organization this is so true i remember chennai had a garbage disposal service called onyx which used to travel late in the night and collect all the garbage cans uh, they were apparently incentivized by weight of garbage collected i mean that's just that's a miserable metric to pick up on the guy has to collect garbage put it in all he needs to do is take five bricks stick them in the weight will always be through the roof nobody is going to verify and find that brick so it's easy to game and get something wrong and so the rate of major crimes in a district becomes the metric according to which police officers are promoted then some officers will respond by simply not recording crimes or downgrading them from major offenses to misdemeanors and so some we are seeing something very similar a lot of states and hospitals and organizations and collectors right now are being asked how many covid cases they have god knows how how much under reporting is there right now right or take the case of surgeons when the metrics of success and failure are made public affecting their reputation and income some surgeons will improve their metric scores by refusing to operate on patients with more complex problems whose surgical outcomes are more likely to be negative who suffers the patients who don't get operated upon so metrics are good metrics are fine but you get carried away it can create a bunch of issues so it's a wonderful wonderful passage when reward is tied to measured measured performance metric fixation invites just this sort of gaming of course but metric fixation also leads to a variety of more subtle unintended negative consequences these include goal dip displacement which comes in many varieties when performance is judged by a few measures and the stakes are high keeping one's job getting a pay raise or raising the stock price at the time when stock options are vested people focus on satisfying those measures often at the expense of other more important organizational goals that are not measured this is this happens very frequently this happens so frequently in large organization that's a complete nightmare right the best known example is teaching to the test a widespread phenomenon that has distorted primary and secondary education in the united states since the adoption of the no child left behind act of 2001 uh, teaching to the test that phrase is suggesting that the entire exercise of teaching is based on getting the scores in this has been happening for uh in india for years so you see some of the schools are our entire curriculum is based on maxing out on class 12 marks it doesn't matter you know understanding is incidental if at all if there were a mechanism where schools could further sacrifice understanding and further maximize mark they'll jump and take it parents will be thrilled students will be fine curiosity will die a painful death fine but it has happened it is happening it will probably continue to happen we game what we have to game we are a jugad economy but it's an interesting point short termism is another negative 
measured performance increases to the us what the us sociologist robert k merton in 1936 called the imperious immediacy of interest where the actor's paramount concern with the foreseen immediate consequences includes consideration of further or other consequences a lot of verbiage basically saying whatever the short term and near term give more priority to it ignore the long term this happens imperious immediacy of interest so urgency creates a dent on the long term consequences in short advancing short term goals at the expense of long range consideration he could have written like this this is so much clearer this problem is endemic to publicly traded corporations that sacrifice long term research and development and the development of their staff to the perceived imperatives of the quarterly report and wonderful wonderful so the obsession with merit is good obsession with the ratings sometimes gives you a biased idea of merit or a gameable idea of merit or an incorrect idea of merit or an idea of merit that can sacrifice something right? wonderful let's go to the questions all of the following can be a possible feature of the no child left behind act of 2001 except uh, the no child left behind is, is probably saying game to the test creating a set of incentives which are geared towards exam performance right so let's look at this school funding and sanctions are tied to yearly improvements scored in tests probably likely test scores are a driver standardized test scores can be critical in determining a student's educational future likely that's why it's being gamed that's why everything is based around standardized test score performance right? That's why teaching to the test happened. The focus is more on test taking skills than on higher order thinking and problem solving. Likely. Assessment is dependent on the teacher's subjective evaluation of the student's class participation is your answer. Teaching to the test means gearing everything to one performance evaluation metric, which is standardized test score, making that crucial, therefore sacrificing this. This is the exact opposite of what it, it looks to achieve. So choice T is the right answer. Which of the following is not a consequence of the metric fixation phenomenon mentioned in the passage? Short term orientation induced by frequent measurement of performance. Yes, this is a consequence. Finding a way to show better results without actually improving performance. Once again, true. Improving cooperation among employees leading to increased organizational effectives in the long run. This is our answer. There is nowhere is cooperation mentioned. It's in fact, if anything, it, it is hinting that cooperation will reduce. Long run effectiveness will get sacrificed. So this is not a consequence, not just not a consequence, the exact opposite. This is the answer we are looking for. Let's look at choice D as well. Deviating from organizationally important objectives to measurable yet less important objectives. Yes. If, so the police reducing and putting it as misdemeanor, the surgeon going towards easier surgeries are all part of choice D. C is the one that is not a consequence. What main point does the author want to convey through the examples of the police officer and the surgeon? Let's look at this. This comes here. Police officer, if the rate of major crimes becomes a metric according to which police officers are promoted, then some officers will rep respond by simply not recording crimes. In the case of surgeons, when the metrics of success and failure are made public, some surgeons will improve their metric scores by refusing to operate on patients with more complex problems. Pick and choose your uh, surgeries. Make sure you downgrade the seriousness of crime. Right? So that's what is happening. That's the example we're looking at. Some professionals are likely to be significantly influenced by the design of performance measurement system. This is probably true, but those examples are not conveying that. Those examples are conveying something more serious than that. That they will not just be significantly influenced, they will look to game. I can be serious, significantly influenced, get stressed out and really start doing better. That's not what they are saying. They are saying they will game it. Metric linked rewards may encourage unethical behavior among some professionals too. Surgeons picking easy surgeries and policemen picking. So this looks good. Let's look at the other choices as well. Because I don't know whether surgeons picking up easy surgeries is that unethical. 
it is probably borderline it's it's i would blame the metric fixation not the surgeon so I, i like the choice but let's come back to it the actions of police officers and surgeons have a significant impact on society now nah, it's not why they have selected they have nowhere are they saying so crucial jobs as policing and and medicine are they just taken two examples to convey the point critical public role should not be evaluated on metric based performance measure they not suggested that this is critical public roles they are probably that's why they've given that example but the key point is that there will be some gaming that's what is conveyed encourage unethical behavior that is the right answer of the following which would have added the least depth to the author's argument oh my god this least depth all is i don't like the, that kind of questions already tricky when the author's argument is metric fixation causes trouble right an analysis of the reasons why metric fixation is becoming popular despite its drawbacks this is probably work this is a no not work this is this ad stepped why because you're saying metric fixation is bad then why are people having it because it is delivering some notional objectives to people it is a it has its flaws but people like it why because it's delivering something a comparative case study of metrics and non metrics based evaluation and its impact on the main goals of an organization this will also add depth because if i know what metric based give but what non metric based give which is good which is bad which is effective which is not effective which is gameable which is not gameable which which might have bias which might not have bias then it will help me if it turns out that non metrics based are better and unbiased and relevant and, and 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 on the point then i can sacrifice metric based and so that's all that will also add up more real life illustrations of the consequences of employees and professionals gaming metrics based performance measuring system this is uh, something like our our police surgeon police and surgeons but more of the same maybe we talk about how engineers it affects how teachers it affects all of that so more examples that will also add depth got examples and i've got some color more examples will add more color assessment of the pros and cons of a professional judgment based evaluation system this will also add depth so it's a judgment based system the merits and demerits are mentioned if that has so many demerits there are so many cons of a judgment based system then i'll say look you think merit based is uh, biased or incorrect think about judgment based that's even it's an even bigger nightmare that will also add depth to the other author's argument so we are in a, we, we are in trouble here all four seem relevant i don't know i'm going to create a hierarchy this is an analysis of why merit based fix, fixation is this talking about merit based this talking about merits and non merit based this talking about only non merit and so between these three a further analysis is spoken of in all three this talks about merit this talks about comparing merit and non merit this talks about non merit our passage talk about merit fixation so therefore these two are more relevant than d so we are down to c or d between a b and d a and b are more relevant than d and between c and d we've already talked about teachers police and surgeons and so the idea that uh, illustrations uh, the idea that because of this merit based performance measurement system there will be some gaming or there could be some gaming it's already established that's not something that needs further reinforcement and so assessment of the pros and cons of a professional judgment based system could be slightly more deeper than even c so the right answer would be c a and b get eliminated easily between c and d will go for c very tricky least depth especially when all four seem to be adding depth is a tricky type of question in fact i had marked answer choice d my first iteration i thought we're talking about professional judgment based evaluation system we're talking about merit and non merit this is tangential but c is more tangential that point is already reinforced we're talking about teachers police and surgeons that some gaming will happen we all you all take for granted by the time you finish that passage so c is uh, likely to be the more relevant thing 
may not it attach the least depth among these three okay i'm going to go for last question what is the main idea that the author is trying to highlight in the passage merit fixation is causing trouble or merit fixation is a negative that's the, that's the idea long term organizational goals should not be ignored for short term measures of organizational success this is trying to highlight but i will not take a point which does not talk about merit fixation and this is true but merit fixation is the driver for this entire discussion so this is ruled out and if merit fixation is maintained i'm going to like that choice better than this all kinds of organizations are now relying on metrics to measure performance and to give rewards rewards and punishment true hinted at strongly but the point is that this merit fixation is wrong that has to be mentioned not just that relying on it so i don't like this either evaluating performance by using measurable performance metrics may misguide organizational goal achievement we have a winner this is precisely what the author is trying to say merit fixation is misguiding organizational goal achievement so we love c we don't like a and b if d also eliminates itself easily we are good to go performance measurement need to be needs to be precise and cost effective to be useful for evaluating organizational performance we're not talking about precise we're not talking about cost effective anywhere ruled out so choice c it is choice c is precisely what we're talking about in kind of these kind of what is the what is he highlighting you need to make sure that the crux is mentioned in your choice it is not just long term short term it is long term short term it is organizational objectives being sacrificed because of heavy usage of merit based selection the, the, the merit chasing merit analytics chasing or merit ranking chasing or merit uh, rating chasing is incorrect that has to be the uh, crux of this and so choice c it is